I've wanted to make this video for quite a long time and I'm finally doing it. This video is going to explain how and when I met every single one of my content creator friends. Now even though I just said everyone, it's not going to include everyone because this video will be an hour long. We're only going to be including people that I've collabed with in the last year, are still actively in the content creator community, I message regularly and are integral to the story. And the story starts in 2014. I was 14. <laughs> the very start of this channel. It was called Wet Your Pants Gaming. To put some more context around that, this was going to be a horror channel. You're told that you shit yourself when you're scared and you piss yourself when you're laughing. That's where the name Wet Your Pants Gaming came from. Obviously the horror stuff didn't stick around because I, I, I was scared of, of horror games. Like, too scared. But one of the games I did play before the horror genre was One Night Two Crazies, an indie horror game on the Xbox Live Market for 69p. But because I was scared, I wanted to know what I was getting into. So I searched the game on YouTube and I came across a video from Neville TV. Okay, we... <laughs> Jesus fucking... <sighs> Mom... Mom, help me! If you've been around on the channel for a while, you're gonna know that name. If not, here's a one hour podcast we did on Christmas Day explaining a lot. No, I don't wanna know how long it takes you to shave your pews. Now me and Neville did a lot of videos on indie games, not together, but just independently happening to be on the same games. We were that community and a big indie game came out just a week later called Survival Game Season 1. I made a video on it, Neville made a video on it. We got a few thousand views each. Then another video popped up that we saw from someone called Draconic. Eventually, myself, Neville, Draconic, and another YouTuber on the indie game marketplace all went together in a big collaborative battle on the survival games. I lost, but that's not important because these were my very first two content creators that I was actually talking to, which was cool. This was seven years ago. I was a baby. You have a habit where your your mouth it, it struggles to talk. I'm having that. It's not convenient. I don't know how to fix it. So if I slur any words or if I whistle at the end of my words, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not doing it on purpose. So in 2015, I received a comment from someone that I had trolled in the previous year on my old channel. Bro, that's because I don't eat crumpets and drink tea every morning. I went to this person's channel to see what kind of people they watched because I trolled them and there was animosity. I don't know, I, I saw a rainbow thumbnail and this rainbow thumbnail belonged to someone called Gabos. Now, I haven't collabed with Gabos in years, but he was like the marijuana of YouTube for me. Like He, he, he was the gateway into... So much in 2015. Through Gabos, I met many people, including Acid Crafted and Lukey Gold. Lukey Gold, obviously, has featured in a video very recently of the, the Great Penguin Heist. And again, I've known him for six years. That, that... <laughs> I'm spanking him. <laughs> oh. There was like 10 of us, maybe, then, in a, a content creation group that we just hung around and talked in. We made loads of videos, unfortunately a lot of them are private now, but they were made and they were a lot of fun. <laughs> Whoa, I found a dead body, shit! What? <laughs> that was my introduction to big collabs, and when my editing and my content just got a lot better because I was surrounded by people making better content than me, which motivated me to make mine better and showed me what I could make. Now, shortly after this, I got into watching Markiplier, and on one of his videos on Five Nights at Freddy's, I came across a comment saying that they were creating a brand new game, a fan game, and anyone interested in helping out to add them on Skype, we were still in 2015, we're still in the Skype days. Now, I joined this group, nothing came with the game, the, the guy in charge was Australian, it wasn't going anywhere, but I met someone called Warcraft in there, who you may have seen from my Manhunt or Escapist video, two videos that he actually edited himself. I think we now have something to- GET OUT OF MY BED! Through there I also met a bunch more people, but they have not been in videos recently. I still talk to quite a few of them, but 
this is about content creator friends and we're just friends so I don't think it would make sense for me to include them and I don't know if they want to be included in this video. No, at this point I started hanging out outside. I was getting ready for my end of school exams. I left high school, I went to college. I have about two years away from YouTube on and off. So that's where a lot of these relationships kind of drifted off. When I came back at the start of 2020, I didn't really meet many new people for a good while. Draconic had just started streaming, as he had just also returned to YouTube, and that was very cool. <laughs> that allowed me then to meet new people once again, including Al, Muffin, and Banjo, for names that you would have seen me collab with in videos. Muffin, there's one thing you need to know about everyone that's been successful in life ever. None of them have friends. We also made a collab server that we used to use and through there I also met someone called Random who I played Portal with and streamed with a few times after that. So during this five year jump we've just made from 2015 to 2020, I mentioned that I stopped talking to a lot of people and one of those people was Lukey. I'm gonna stick these two fingers right up your fucking asshole. I got back in touch with him during lockdown and we were playing Club Penguin together and I was then introduced to Reese, one of Lukey's friends who also played Club Penguin with us. <laughs> and that is where I met Reese from, again, the greatest Penguin heist video. Um, I think yeah. he's trying oh. to hide himself. <laughs> Camouflage in the plant. <laughs> I never realised there was like a five year gap between like... Wow, that's, that's, I'm, I'm old. I also just bit myself. Oh, my mouth is not my friend right now. <sighs> Maybe it's saying it's hungry. Regardless, I carry on being solo. All the way up until a few months ago this year in 2021, around May time. I was off from having surgery, so I wanted to build on a big project, and I created the Moshi Monster Iceberg. In this video, I went over secrets from Moshi Monsters, loads of stuff about the childhood game, and there was a section about the Flash game spin-offs from Moshi Monsters. I needed footage from this, but since Flash shut down in 2020, I couldn't play the games and get footage, so I had to go on YouTube. I needed to get footage from the Flash games, so I saw a video from someone called Reek as Why Not, who played some of the Flash games in the theme park. So I used some of this footage and put it in the video. When that Moshi Monster Iceberg video came out, Re commented on the video. Through that we got talking and ended up doing a Moshi Monster Roblox collab. This is my sofa room. It's got a sofa. <laughs> After this video, I was invited to an SMP that Re was on. On this SMP, I met most of the other people you know. Boyar, Maskin, Key, Ravioli, Macaroni, anyone else you've seen in the Minecraft videos recently, they're from the SMP. Now of course I've met loads of other people in passing. This isn't everyone, but these are the more important integral people into going to everyone else. The people that I'm collabing with actively, and I'm sure in a year's time, there'll be another bunch of people. Also, everyone that I've mentioned in the video, I am still on good terms with. I am good. There's only a couple of people I've left out for various reasons. Potentially because they got a lot of subs and decided they were too good to, to talk to me anymore or accept my friend request. But that's just an example in theory. You know, that it's not like that would ever actually happen. I just hope this not only works as a nice time relic for me, but also helps give more context into the people I'm collabing with because over the last couple of months I've gone from being practically only solo to collabing with loads more people and I feel like it can be a bit overwhelming with all these new voices so hopefully it, it's helped a bit <laughs> and hopefully we continue making great videos moving forward. So I hope you've enjoyed. I'll leave everyone that I mentioned that's still making videos down in the description below if you want to check any of that out whether it's from 2014 or 2021 or anywhere in between thanks for watching uh, I'll, I'll see you in a bit